Ready. Hey, American pig, it's Boris here. I caught the snitch, the Harry Potter snitch. Snitch? I don't know. Anyway, this came out of here. I remember something like this back in the day. Help me out. I don't know what it is. Okay. I got this huge box of Lego. Anytime I can get Legos for less than a few dollars a pound, I do. So look at this giant box of Lego, Choo Choo. Look at that. So uh -huh. big. Now, what I've been doing is I take out the big pieces that I know I don't really collect that my little boy does. I put them off to the side. Here's some more. And then, you know, there's there's partial sets in here. There was a whole bunch of books that I can go through later and piece together. We can see what's here. There is a land crawler in the box uh, from Star Wars. <clears throat> There's a ton of minifigures. I've been finding, I've got about 20 mi minifigures here, uh, ranging in anything from a Helifino to an elephant to a, it looks like one of the guys from Atlantis there. Uh, this little clown, I'm not sure what he's from. He's really cute. I don't have this minifigure. But uh, when you buy Legos in bulk, it's very fun to go through and see what you can find. Here's something from the Pirates of the Caribbean or the Hobbit, one of those. Either way, a coveted, really nice piece. Now, this piece um, isn't just Lego. There's some Mega Blocks in here, too. Mega Blocks is a good quality. Uh, I'm not one of those people that discounts one for the other. I do like Lego better, but Mega's made some really good stuff, too. Some pretty good, this goes in the, one of the pirate ships from Pirates of the Caribbean, if I'm not mistaken. Um, the Jolly Roger, maybe, or one of those. But um, it's like a treasure hunt, really. So I got this box. I'm going to be going through it, picking out different things, <clears throat> finding all kinds of stuff. I don't know what it is. Some kids' toys, uh, either way. <clears throat> We've got some definite castle pieces here. And I've got the instructions there, too. So this is something to do with uh, the original Harry Potter Later on, it had like a green roof. Uh, the first one, I think, had the maroon roof, around 2000 release, something like that. So I'm excited to see what all is here. In the interim, I got this right here. I went downstairs and I had some mail, and I don't know what it is. I think I do now. This is going to look great on my wall. I got three of these. They look different in the picture. The picture, these look huge. But Chuchu, if you don't mind, uh, get a get a glimpse of our wall there. You see that pirate ship there, the longboat, yeah. and then you have um, uh, two of spears. That's the world card, but definitely Nordic themed. So I think that's what this is. It's a shield. It's modeled after the show Vikings on the History Channel. I think it's modeled after Eivor's shield. Let me see if I have my knife here. <clears throat> I normally would have scissors or already have this open, but just kind of on a whim, I decided I'd go ahead and open this in front of you all because I'm excited to see what it is. The quality, I can already tell, isn't as big as I thought it was going to be. This may explain why shipping was so cheap, but <clears throat> this will definitely look good on the wall. The three dragons there, that's pretty cool. Not sure where I'll hang it yet. It's actually about the size of a shield uh, for certain kinds of gladiators back during the Roman days. But Viking shields were considerably larger than this. And, you know, Spartan shields uh, were massive. Um, but at any rate, I'm a little disappointed in the quality. I saw these advertised quite a bit on the line, and I finally, you know, bit the bullet and bought one. The next one should be a raven of some kind. <clears throat> Blackbirds are my favorite animal. Uh, they're, they're smart, the Corvus, um, they're mates for life, one of the smartest animals, they can mimic the human, human voice. Okay, so this is actually the Ouroboros, Jormungand, in Viking mythology, pretty cool. I, I like that. The size of it is to be desired. Now, for a child, this would be perfect, but my intention is to hang this on the wall, um, that's my intent. It'll look good on the wall, but if I was a, a reenactor or something like that, I would I would be hesitant to take this um, to like a reenactment battlefield or something like that, use it as a prop. 
it'd be good for pictures and things like that or something on the wall, like I said. But for me, the quality is not as exceptional as it looked like it was going to be. They just have some good marketing, I guess. But this is my favorite one here. It's Union Immunion uh, Odin's Ravens. I really like this. I think it looks really cool. Um, you know, I could either hang this on the wall or make like a little miniature table with it. That's pretty cool. What do you think, Chucha Lee Hong? Well, Hung Hao, or mm. you, your throat, you need a drink? Yes. Would you like some drink? <coughs> <coughs> I have. Coffee? <coughs> water is okay. Water? I have. You have some water? Yeah, I have. Okay. Here. All right. Well... Wow, good job. Here, I'll hold the camera for a minute. I won't get you, don't it's worry. Okay. It's okay. Get your drink. It's okay. Come here, bartender. Thanks. So. Uh -huh. Can't be a gentleman in today's society these days. Women don't want our help a lot of times. Choo Choo's independent, like to do things for herself, but she's a lady. She likes to have the door open for her and things like that. Now, here we are back to our Legos. Let's see what we can find. You want to? Mm -hmm. How many minutes are we at, Choo Choo? Six minutes. Six minutes. Oh, yeah. God bless America. Tell you what, part one here. See you for part two. Okay. Jabberjaws out.